Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. May God bless you all. The indigenous people of Biafra has called out the U.S. to act on Namdekanim's case. Record that the Api court ruled in the favor of Mazen Namdekanim since on the 13th of October 2022. But the federal government of Nigeria is still holding him. They said Mazen Namdekanim cannot go. And all that. Nigerians have been talking. Now, the indigenous people of Biafra is now asking the U.S. to act on Namdekanu's case. They said they are not comfortable with their silence. Why are they keeping quiet? They're supposed to intervene. And all that. Well, let's quickly hit the news and get the full details. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has told the United States of America, the U.S., to complete the work it started regarding the issue of Mazin Namdekano's incarceration, according to Vanguard News. This is just as the group asked why the United States of America has kept a loud, a loud silence regarding the issue of the supreme leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. IPOP Namdekano. A more powerful, the spokesman of IPOP released a statement titled Biafra Questions to the United States of America Government Silent over Mazin Namdekano's extraordinary rendition from Kenya to Nigeria. In the statement, IPOP's media and publicity secretary told the U.S. government to complete the work it started by intervening in Kano's alleged illegal rendition, he urged the U.S. to not look away to the urgent need for justice. A more powerful statement partly read, We, the global movement and the family of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, under the leadership of Mazi Namde Kano, have a burning question to ask the world community. Why? is the righteous-minded global conscience of both poor and rich nations, the United States of America, so loudly silent in the matter of Mazin Namdekano. They are silent in this, case, in this case of great concern to over 70 million Biafrans is deafening. We know through history that it was the United States of America that acted as the world's conscience. They acted to challenge some European countries after the world wars and compelled them to let their colonized African nations go with flag of independence from 1950s. Nigeria is one of such countries that gained their first independence through that era, the U.S., we, the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, call upon you today to complete the work you started then. It will be recorded that Mazin Namdekano has been in prison for quite a long time now, and the supreme leader of IPOP has been held up in a DSS facility for far longer than necessary. This part of the reasons why there is so much pressure now. Mazen Namdekano being the supreme leader of IPOP is one man that is very well respected by the people. He is one name that is held in high esteem. The group has been trying to have him freed so that they can once again be all happy as a, as a people, they said. See, right from the one I know that these people, their hands are not clean, no. You understand? They don't have to be trusted. This U.S., U.N., and all that, and the U.K. You can't trust them, finish you. You understand? Because their silence really is, is, is worrisome. We are talking about extraordinary rendition here. This man was extraordinary rendition you know, from Kenya to Nigeria. Okay, what of the UK government in which their passport he was carrying? He was with British passports when he was kidnapped from Kenya to Nigeria. 
and those people had just kept quiet. And only one or twice, the 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 the, the commissioner, the high commissioner here in Abuja, went to to see him. One, the DSS did not allow her in. It's only one he visited. Once, once he visited. We are talking about your citizen. So these people cannot cannot be trusted. You'll be surprised that they, they are happy with what is going on in Nigeria. You'll be surprised. Look at the killings in the north. Look at the killings by the Fulani herdsmen everywhere, the bandits the, and the Boko Haram. Have you ever seen them call out the president? Have you ever seen them call out the Nigerian government? What is going on in your country? No. So these people can never be trusted 100%. That is, that, is, that is just my take here. Yeah. They can never be trusted. I don't trust them. I don't want to trust them. But that, the, 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 the right thing to do is to ask Nigerian government to do the needful. This man was renditioned from another country without due processes. This, the same Nigerian government that refused to extradite Abakiari to U.S., because it's a full and extra, uh, extraction. You see, the law of this country is just for some regions. And why other regions are just above, above the law. And that is why people are saying, you know, the, 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 the judgment of this country, they are just partial. The way they judge. You understand? Look at this Mazinam Dikanu's case. Someone that has been announced, discharged, and acquitted. The federal government, for no reason, no. For no reason, no. They said they are not satisfied, though. That is why they are still keeping him just like that. You can imagine. So, if Mazinam the Kanu were to be an alternate, by now they will not release him. And now the question is where are Southeast leaders? If this thing they touch mouth, if they touch nose too. You understand? If the thing, if the water don't fool away, well, as they touch your mouth, they touch nose. So they themselves, they should not think that they are free. Because lives are being threatened in the southeast region because of this. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comments. Section.